Hi ladies, so I have decided to do a Cartier unboxing video. I actually have watched so many videos on YouTube and I decided to pay it forward because I know it's very helpful when you're trying to make a decision on what your next purchase is gonna be. So like many women are really into shoes, handbags, I guess my thing is just jewelry and I love, love, love designers like Cartier, Van Cleef & Arpels, Tiffany. So maybe after this one, I might be open to doing a few more videos of my other pieces that I own. But for now, we will do this one. Uh, this piece is very special to me. My husband took me to the mall, South Coast Plaza, took me out for lunch, and surprisingly just asked me if I wanted to go shopping and what store do you want to go to? And he was just open to buying me anything I wanted. So I uh, was very surprised. Um, and I was even more surprised when he was open to purchasing a piece that I feel is very expensive item and um, I was first going to go for the medium, I guess Cartier calls it the small SM, but of course I love the large and my husband said, just get it. So I was like very shocked. Um, I will start off by opening this beautiful red bag. So my sales associate was so kind enough to give me a few uh, travel bags. We do travel a lot. So this one is just um, a little bit, I guess, um, I don't know if I would use this one. It's just a little large. Um, this one is more of like a medium size. It does have a pouch in it for a bracelet. Um, I like this size a lot more though. Uh, that you could probably even use it for a watch. And she gave me a little teeny tiny, which I think this would be a lot more useful if I was traveling. Um, I don't tend to take a lot of pieces with me anyway, so um, I would probably end up using this. Um, and of course, they provided this um, cleaning kit. Comes with a, a spray and a cloth and a little brush to kind of clean your jewelry as needed. And of course, this stunning box. It's almost like you don't want to open it. It's just so beautiful and they provide their gorgeous stamp, wax stamp, which is something you don't see anymore when you go and purchase jewelry. This is, um, this definitely is something that stands apart and allows you to know that you're buying something that's very upscale. Um, so I will do the honors of opening this gorgeous box. I kind of broke the seal there. I ended up going with the legger. The, the sales associate pronounced it very different. I think it was like le, legger. I, I honestly don't know how to pronounce it, but I'll call it the legger. And it's a diamond solitaire. Um, I do own the diamond by the yard, 0.17 necklace. So um, I tend to appeal to very dainty uh, pieces, very feminine, uh, somewhat like, you know, not um, somewhat subtle and items that just don't really stand out too much. In other words, I don't think I could call it a statement piece, if you want to call it. But... That is so cute. It actually popped open on its own. So as I open the box, this box just opens automatically. 
That is just so cute. Okay, so it automatically opened for me. And I'll show you. You can kind of get a glimpse of how sparkly that that chain is. So I will take it out of the box for you to see. And again, I'm doing this video because I just remember how helpful these videos were for me and I just want to return the favor here. So I did choose a rose gold necklace. Um, I initially was always really um, on the fence about rose gold because as you can see I have a very tan olive complexion and I was just always so nervous that like it would literally just be invisible on my skin which it kind of is. Um, however, um, my Diamond by the Yard Tiffany piece is in yellow gold and I wanted to change it up and not only that but I... Um, have a rose gold Tiffany Atlas Pierce pendant necklace in rose gold. I took a risk. I went for the rose gold and I absolutely fell in love with rose gold. So I, there's like, I just, there's something different about 18 karat rose gold than 14 karat rose gold. The colors are different. And I think 18 karat is just very, very, very elegant. Um, so I'll let you see this. You can see how sparkly that chain is. I hope I have good lighting. And while I was in the uh, sales office or the boutique, um, it's important to me to compare the necklaces. Like I asked her to bring two of the same necklace because I wanted to look at the diamond. And essentially I wanted kind of like a choice in diamond. Um, she assured me multiple times that the diamonds are the same. There is no difference in their diamonds. And my husband and I stared at it for many minutes trying to figure out if there was any difference. And there really wasn't. Um, I think they're just very picky on the quality diamond that they select. I don't think you can, there's like no way of being able to get the diamond to show to you guys. It's just too, um, the camera lens is just not the best for this, for small items. But this, I think, gives you an idea. Um, you can see how it is rose colored. And you can see how sparkly it is. I definitely feel this is an everyday piece. Um, in comparison to the Diamond by the Yard, I would say... The Diamond by the Yard has a matte necklace. It doesn't shine. So the Diamond by the Yard is very subtle. So if I had to compare this one to the Diamond by the Yard, I would say this piece is a little bit fancier. Um, so I, if I had to pick between the two on which I would wear on which day, I would wear the Diamond by the Yard on a very, very casual day. And I would wear this on a casual day, maybe just like a bit of a nicer setting. Um, I love fine jewelry. I love Tiffany and I love Cartier. And I wish I could display it in more lighting for you. But you can see how much it just sparkles. Again, this is in rose gold. And I hope you all enjoyed my video. Uh, give me a thumbs up and let me know if you feel like I should do videos on my other pieces. Absolutely in love. Thank you so, so much to my hubby. It was a complete surprise. He really shocked me. And... I feel that this piece is very, very, very special to me. It was just a complete surprise and thank you so, so much. And I know how much you love me. <laughs> thank you. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.